Hi, I'm Michael Daly, and you are live at the garage. We are here today with the first of a three-part series interviewing gospel sensation, vocal artist Kim Freeman, touching on various topics pertaining to how music changes lives. I see that um, God moves through you, you know, so obviously because I know you grew up in Newark, now I know you've done <laughs> gospel all your life. Now, one thing um, I know, I know you've probably heard some comparisons to you and maybe some of the great ones, Phyllis Hyman, maybe. The yeah. background oh, work for you know, yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, I know some a and somewhere at some point in your life has approached you and said, come on, Kim, let's, let's, let's do R&B. I would say not a particular uh, label or anything like that has approached me, but people who want me to do studio work and stuff like that for them. Uh, it's not a bad thing. I just won't. I won't sing. You know, lap you up, lick you down. I won't sing exactly. that. Okay, because that's really not what I'm about. Yeah. You know, I'm like that's doing the club scene. I did that, and I was singing, but there was not an anointing with that. Was. And there's always yeah. The so there was always that 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 piece of the Lord in you. There you go. Exactly. And at that time, we were just talking about yeah. saying, you know what's right, you know what's wrong. That's right. Exactly. But, you know, there's been a lot of artists, you know, over the years, girls like Regina Bell and them, same thing, you know, they love their Lord, you know, their music is great, you know, the mainstream loves them, you know, they you know, they seem like they're built for R&B, but you know what, you know, God is always going to be, you know, in their ear, and they always end up going back, you know. The gift that he has given us, that's what he wants us to use it for. Exactly. Now, we talked about free will. Have the free will to come and go and do and take that gift and do what you want to do. But the thing is, when the Lord is calling you, nothing seems to work. Nothing seems to work. Because even at the end of what you were built, incredible brain, as a pop singer, you know, R&B, she was still drawn back to Christ. Because that is really what he wanted her. But he didn't do it. He didn't take her voice. He didn't do this. And Still small voice inside of myself. This yeah. is what I want to be. Even when I was doing club and I wasn't, my relationship with Christ wasn't as strong as it is now. But it was never severed. It was never severed. It was never severed because my dad and my mom were in the church and they were taking us. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's another thing. You don't send your children to church. You take yeah, them. Take them to church. You know, and take them. And, and you know, that's the that's what everybody thinks. Everybody, everybody thinks that just because you love the Lord. That that means that you know you're gonna be this stiff shirt, this you know you know no, no you know and that's not you know and if you listen to God, He never said you know everybody thinks that you know because you you, you you know you're gonna be a Christian that you're gonna be poor you know He never said you had to be poor He did none of that you know none of that you know you never have to take a vow that you, you know um, the word tells us that uh, it's not money that's evil so don't get that twisted honey <laughs> I can't like money I can't make money. Okay, it's the love of it. Yeah, the love of it. It's the root. The root of all evil because you let it control you to the point where it has an address, a zip code, and it has a social security number. Yeah. So, therefore, if you let it control you like that, then it is the root of all evil. Not money. Because you need money to live, you need money to buy food, you need money to buy clothing, you need money to pay your tithes and your offering. Okay, but it's the love of it when it controls you and it has a whole of a life of its own to where you forsake everything and everybody for it. You'll even take, you'll even turn your back on people for it. You know, you'll do crazy things, crazy things for the dollar.